I'd like to encourage you to take a look at the slide that was there previously, which we kind of all did, and uh, decide on the three items you'd like to bring with you on the deserted island. For now, I'll ask uh, Denise if she could read the instructions on the left for us. Excellent. Excellent. Using your pointer tool, claim a circle. Using your text tool, write three things you would take with you if you were stranded on a deserted island. A frivolous object, a book, something you can't live without. Once you're done, please give a green check next to your name. So now I'll ask each of you to go ahead and select your pointer to claim the circle. Uh, the pointer is the arrow on the top left-hand side of your screen. Then choose your text tool, the capital letter T, and start writing the three items you would bring with you if you're stranded on a desert island. You'll have two minutes, so please give us a second mark when you're ready to share. Caitlin, you may want to change the color yeah. of your ink. Yes, I agree. Um, oh, I like Caitlin's. Hmm, I shouldn't be looking at anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin. I love the sound of the clicking. Everybody's going right to town. <laughs> Give us your, your checks if, uh, if when you are done with your three items. Do you think there are sharks in that water? <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be. It looks so clear. It looks so inviting. <laughs> I think, uh, I think we're ready to go. So I'm going to start with uh, Caitlin. Can you tell us about your three items? Yes. Uh, the first one was a journal and pen. I thought if I'm on an island, I'll have a lot of time to sit and reflect. So I'll bring a journal. Um, I'm not sure if I spelled it right, but Epictetus, he's a, he's a philosopher, and he has just this small little book of nuggets of wisdom and I find I can read it over and over and over and always get something new from it to apply to my life. And the last one is something I can't remember. I thought I'd bring my husband. I see other people are bringing like things to make fire. My husband can make the fire. <laughs> Thank you. Good. I, I wrote down the name of that book because that was really, really interesting. And wouldn't it be great too if your husband had three things he could bring so he can bring mm -hmm. the flint? <laughs> exactly. exactly. <sighs> Danny, over to you. What about your three items? <clears throat> well, guilty, I, I would miss my phone. And that would be something I would want. Um, my book would be Harry Potter, any of them. I can read them over and over. And uh, hair elastics. That would drive me crazy. <laughs> Not being able to get my hair out of my face. That's very smart. So the hair elastics are things you can't live without, or is it the phone? Oh, no, it's the hair elastic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tammy, what about you? Well, I put a blanket, uh, I guess, to keep me warm and keep any bugs off me. I don't know, or maybe bugs will be enticed the blanket. Uh, I don't know. Uh, a book on poetry, <clears throat> because uh, anyone who know, knows me, I'm an optimistic and an optimistic, optimistic. Sorry, I'm optimistic. And uh, <clears throat> I just love poetry. Uh, Maya Angelou in particular. Uh, kids. I couldn't live without my kids. I can't live without my husband either, but uh, so I'll say kids. Not your kayak yet. <laughs> I changed to the kayak because I thought, well, I've, I, I, you know, it would be nice to have my kids there. 
funny. So funny that you say Maya Angelou. Last week we had another icebreaker and it was great. And it was about bringing somebody, uh, having lunch or a picnic with somebody. And I chose Oprah. And that's where I discovered Maya Angelou. Hmm. Her. She's, uh, Maya Angelou is pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. Glenda, it's your turn. <laughs> well, I'm guilty too. I can live with my, without my cell phone and without internet connection alone. <laughs> Uh, moi, um, I, uh, I will uh, uh, use my cell phone with solar charger to be connected all the time. And I will read any book about astronomy. I love astronomy. I love the stars. I love everything uh, what is out there. And I, I wrote something. I think it, it, it was um, an object. That's why I made family photos. <laughs> but uh, in any case, I, I will bring uh, to my husband and my kid to that, that. That's out of question. I don't remember how many kids do you have again. One, only one, little tiny. That's awesome. <laughs> how little? How old is your child? Uh, he's going to be two years old in April. Oh. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Mine are 21 and 23. I still call them my oh little my tiny God. children. That's why I asked. <laughs> <laughs> so, niece, over to you. Right. My, uh, I guess my thing I can't live without is makeup. It's kind of sad, but it's true. Uh, I wear it every day. Um, the book I would take is Outlander. It's a very thick book. I'm a slow reader. So it took me a long time, and it's a book I can read over and over again. It's multi-layered. And uh, the thing that I can't live without, definitely my kids. They're great company, wonderful entertainment, and they're both very resourceful. So I'm sure we can survive. Oh, that's nice. I can't live without makeup either. So. <laughs> and your kids are in cadets, are they not? Uh, one still is, and the other one's moved on to RMC. So you'd have, they'd be a great reason. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> we'd be well-fed, well-sheltered. We'd have lots of entertainment, yeah. Has uh, has he gone to cadet camp yet, the one that's left in? Yes, yeah. He did his first one this past summer, and uh, that's absolutely what kept him in the program. He was kind of sitting on the fence before camp, and since camp, I haven't heard the word quit since. Where did he go to camp? Uh, actually, he was in uh, Ottawa. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, their camp is right in Canada. So <laughs> I said, if you if you're ever feeling lonely or isolated, just look up and you can see the the tall buildings in Canada. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. I visited cadet camps this summer, and I mm-hmm. saw so many amazing ones. Like in Quebec, yeah. they have all the specialized music camps where if you don't know um, an instrument, they will teach you for the course of the summer. Like Absolutely. There is some beautiful cottages there. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. In Bagotville, they had sailing camps with all sorts of beautiful. Right. Camps. It made me want to go to camp. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they they have an absolute blast, and they make lifelong friends. Oh, it's amazing. It is. It is. It's a very good experience. So. And Margaret. Yeah. So, um, I, I didn't bring my husband. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I brought Flint to make fire and dental floss and my dog, my dog Sadie. I miss her so much because she's in mm. Canada with my daughter and she's just, I just miss that little face. <laughs> Where is your daughter, Margaret? My daughter, Angela, is in Halifax. She's going to St. Evex. Um, she's working on her second degree. So her first degree was in English and history and now she's working on uh, education degree. Great. Which is a real problem, though, because the teachers are on strike, and with the strike, they don't do oh. work for they don't do um, teacher teacher training the placements. Yeah. So the second years, Angela's in her first year, but the second years ha- will have a serious problem about not graduating mm. in June because they haven't had enough time. Mm. Oh. And so what they may do uh, for the first years next year, if they still can't, if they're still not sorted. She may have to just do all the work, and then when they get sorted, do the tra- the four, no. the six, you know, th- th- four months solid of mm-hmm. training. Well, hopefully it'll come to an end soon. Yeah. 
And I've Danny, you're back. Mm -hmm. Good, Danny, you're back. Did you have some issues with that with uh, IT? It's just the second time so far that I've just not been able to hear anything for a period of time. Okay, and you fixed it. Good for you. Well, that's well, all I about troubleshooting next week. Then you could teach um, the class. <laughs> I'm not sure that I did do anything. I think it just came back all by itself. <laughs> but we'll see. Thank you. Well, this was really fun. I like that I got to know all of you that much better, and that was the um, the end of my icebreaker. Uh, Dominique, what would you bring? Oh my God, I didn't give this any thought, um, and I should. <laughs> I think I probably uh, would. Maybe that bottle of wine that keeps filling itself. <laughs> okay. Uh, a book. Uh, maybe something I haven't. I haven't read the Bible, and I have lots of stories there. Maybe I'd bring that. And, and I'm not, you know, super religious, but I figured there's something, there's definitely something to learn in there. Yep. And um, I'm not going to choose between the boyfriend and the children, so, <laughs> so I, don't, I don't know. Maybe make up to. Make up to. <laughs> there you go. He washes up on that island. You never know. <laughs> uh, yeah, you always want to feel good about yourself and makeup or pretty lingerie. That's important to have because it makes a huge difference in how we feel, right? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dominic, you did a phenomenal job. I love the pictures here. I love how it brought people to discuss about different uh, different things they would bring. Um, thank you so much for sharing. It is a great icebreaker. And um, Danny, if it's okay, you'll be sharing your icebreaker next week. Sure. And what we're going to do also is I'm going to I'm compiling all the icebreakers, so you should have in the after session email a list of all everybody's icebreakers, so you can use any one of them um, as you see fit, and it's a give and go with a script and a presentation. Really appreciated your help, by the way, Margaret. Like. Uh, with stuff I sh should have known, and I really appreciated that I had like an end product that um, that was done right, and that I can replicate and remember all the you know lessons learned from the past. So thank you. Uh, you are so welcome, and that's why we just do one on one, so that it makes it easy to 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 learn on one page, right? And then when you're doing your your final project, you realize it's only one slide for one. So it's all part of the learning process. So uh, we want to thank Dominic for her icebreaker. We want to welcome Tammy Kingston uh, to the virtual classroom today. Tammy, it's a real pleasure to have you here again. Tammy is one of our students as well as an outreach worker for Military Family Services Europe. Um, so today is just about sharing. So it's about sharing files, how to share desktop videos, documents, um, just all about sharing, even how to play nice in the sandbox and share. Um, so Tammy and I will be demonstrating how it's going to work. We're going to demonstrate and then we're going to give you, one person in class, an opportunity to practice and try. So we'll show you and then when you're practicing and trying, we're going to ask you to give step-by-step -step directions because that's how we communicate in the virtual classroom. Um, and then we're going to have a break and then we're going to talk about web browser, web content. That's how we share our videos and files. Uh, we're going to teach you how to transfer files, how to share resources, and then what's next on your final projects. Um, so everything that we do today, for the most part, we start, we'll start at the share button. And the share button is located at the top left hand of your screen. Um, you'll see the word file, edit, and share. So if you click on share, if you have the ball, you'll be able to get all these different choices if you have the green and blue ball. This is how you can share your desktop, a file, an application, all this good stuff. So Tammy's going to start with, no, sorry, I'm going to start with, <laughs> <laughs> with teaching you how <clears throat> to share um, our session window. So this is something that we've done before, sharing our session window. Um, we've used this for troubleshooting tips. We've used it when when uh, we want to pass control of the of the presentation. Um, sometimes you need you have to have the ball in order to share um, your session window. So right now I have the ball. 
um, and I'm going to go up to the top left hand side of my screen and I'm going to click on the share button and then go right down to the end and share my session window so that you can see what I'm seeing. So now this is a great way for me to troubleshoot. So if somebody's having problems with their audio, I can, I can, if they have the ball and they're sharing their session window, I can direct them. I can say, okay, now click on this audio button and I can make big movements with my, with my mouse. And then I can explain to them how to test their audio and how to log in with the audio, all by showing. Or if it's troubleshooting, I can pass them the ball and they can show it and I can walk them through step by step. So sharing your session window is a really great um, way to, to teach different, um, different skills. Uh, let me see. So, and when we want to stop sharing, this is a goes for sharing your desktop or sharing your session window. When we want to stop, stop sharing, you tell people to just move their mouse right up to the middle of the screen and a tab will come down and there it says stop sharing. And that's how, if you hover over that and you bring, you click on that, you go back to the classroom. Also, you might want to say, Margaret, uh, when you hover in the middle of the screen, you'll also be able to bring down your chat box and the participant panel box so you can see and still continue to chat. Absolutely. So that's a great point. Thank you. Because when you're sharing your desktop or your session window or any kind of application, people don't know if they're muted how they can speak. So thank you very much for bringing that up, um, uh, uh, Tenny. <laughs> so if you bring your mouse up to the top of the, uh, I'm going to ask everybody to bring your mouse up to the top of the screen and Look at, you can see where you can, um, if there's a little triangle, you can see where you can, where am I? Oh, yes, you can check participant or chat. And it's there where you can unmute your microphone as well in case you want to talk. And that's where you can continue to chat even when we're sharing. Thank you for the reminder of that. So when we are developing a script for any kind of sharing, we always include don't forget to uh, show your participants how to um, find their, their way. Would anybody like to try to share their session window? This is Dominique. I'd like to share because I'm on Mac. So oh, okay. It's a bit different maybe than what everybody else is seeing. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so remember when you oh, remember when you're sharing, Dominique, before you share? to tell people what you're doing. So you have to go step by step. So before I'm going to share my session window so that you can see what I can see. You want to tell them that? Perfect. Well, I'll, I'll do it again, even though I think I've already uh, started sharing. Okay. You go up to the center of the top of your screen next to, there you'll see file, edit, and share. And you'll click on share, and then you'll scroll down to my session window. And then uh, I believe I'm now sharing. Yes, we can see what you're seeing. <clears throat> and then if you want to stop sharing, uh, then you hover over the top of the screen. And you, you'll see stop sharing. Mine is always there. I don't need to hover. Well, I think, yeah, I do need to hover. So there it goes. Are you seeing all the colors that I have compared to yours? Mm -hmm. I do. And the reason you have that is because WebEx made a change. Right. So you see, that's the green check that we were speaking about. And we're trying to get that back. So it's really important here, and it, I didn't quite explain this well. So try, try to explain this. Um, raise your, your mouse right up to the middle of the screen until you see the panel come down. And then um, click on Participant. And give me a little check mark to make sure you found the participant panel and the chat panel. I'm, I'm not that way you continue. You will not see it because you have the ball. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So everybody now, so that means if everybody with their green check mark means they're able to unmute if they need to speak. So Danny, did you find that? Um, sorry, I think I. Missed some of that actually. I so think I had bring your level. mouse right up to the top, 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 very top, and you're going to see the word participant and chat. And that's how you can continue to chat. 
if you click on the participant, give me a green check. That way, if you're muted, you can unmute to speak when somebody's sharing. No, no, it's not that. I think I had another blip. I thought that there was just a pause, but I think I had another blip in sound. Oh, okay. So are you able to find your participant panel? All right. I think we have another blip again. <laughs> can, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, I oh, can. Okay, good. Okay. Super. So I've taken the ball back. And Dominic, you had a question. I did. So when we were sharing, when you say look for the word participant, it's the word participant is not on the actual drop down. It's in the main top of the screen next to like file, edit, share, view, audio, and then participant. Is that no, what? it's in this drop down toolbar. <clears throat> you see, when you bring your mouse up to right in the middle, you'll see stop sharing. You'll see pause. You'll see share. And here you'll see participant and you'll see the word chat. Okay. And so if they if you direct them there, if they if they're muted, they can unmute or they can chat. So you ask them to give you a green check so that they're able to um, still communicate even if you're sharing your session window or an application. Okay, because I didn't I, I don't think I saw that when you were sharing. So we'll try it again. Sorry, everyone. No, sorry, no. We're going to be doing it. We're sharing the desktop. So each time we share something, we're going to show that toolbar. So you'll have lots of opportunity. Super. So that's sharing the session window. Great. So, so now, now we're going to learn how to share our desktop as the host or presenter. So you go to the top uh, WebEx toolbar and you select Share. Then you select My Desktop. Margaret, I don't have the ball, so I do, I'm assuming I need the ball for this. You do need the ball for this. <laughs> yes, so. Now I'm going to pass you the ball by clicking and dragging the ball to before your name. There you are. Thank you. Very good. You're welcome. So as you go to the top WebEx toolbar, you select Share. Then you select My Desktop. And I'm going to do a demonstration of this for you, so you'll see. So I go to the toolbar, the upper left-hand corner, and I click on Share. And now this time, I'm going to click on My Desktop. I've got two monitors, so I'm assuming it's going to go one or two. And as, so as so as you can see, you're all now privy to whatever I have, uh, have on my icon. So can you see? Ah, oh, the beautiful be the beautiful uh, lighthouse. Right. Very clean, very clean <laughs> desktop, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So on the very top, um, you'll see up here where it says stop sharing. Okay. You've got your participants and your chat panel, which is cool. So. Okay. So give us so a little check mark to make sure that you found that. I no longer see where I can chat. So is this where I would go to the chat to be able to check mark or participants? So you bring your cursor to the really, really top of the screen? Yeah. Okay. And you see a drop down menu? I see it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then way over to the right hand side, it yeah. should say participants and chat. Yep. Yeah. So you click on participant and then chat. And then, yeah. Okay. Okay. And and one really important note, and you may have noticed here, it's fairly cleaned off, <laughs> uh, because you you don't want um, you might have files on there you might not want to share with everyone else. So if you're sharing your desktop, you might want to do a little cleanup the night before or, <laughs> or something, because I did have lots of files on there. Good. Okay. So then we hit the stop sharing. Wonderful. Okay. So do we have a volunteer that would like to share the desktop? I could, well, I don't know. <laughs> I won't share my desktop because it's my son's computer and it's full of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Anda? Hi. Hi. Yes, I would like to do it. Okay. So Glenn's going to share hers. It's on okay. my computer, so... I have a lot of things open, but it's okay to see. 
So, Tammy, you'll have to share the ball by clicking and dragging the ball from your name to Glenda's name. Okay. Sorry, Glenda. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. So, I'm going to share. And after my desktop, I do the click. And. Click my desktop. Okay. Uh huh. And at the very, and in your very top center where the drop down menu is, you see your participant panel in your chat panel? Yes. Okay, so those ones you That's can perfect. click down. So you perfect. see, you but want? I did not see the, the screen with the presentation. So. No, right now what you're seeing is your own desktop. Ah, okay. 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 We are just a side. So if you're in a, in a committee, for example, and you're working on a document, this is one way that you can do it, but there's another way that's more private than sharing your all everything on your desktop. Okay. And don't forget, Glenda, you want to make sure you, everybody can still chat. So you say, oh, so that you can still chat and you can unmute when you're, um, if you want to speak, just bring your mouse right up to the middle and then click on the participant, and that way uh, give me a green check to, or a check mark to make sure that I know that you've got that. Okay, great. So if participants want to unmute themselves or mute, <laughs> you, can, you go drop up to the top of the screen, and there's a, a panel that, that appears, and you will see participants and chat. If you do the click, over there, you can find yourself and you can mute and unmute yourself. And also, you can give me a beautiful green check. Ah. Fantastic. Okay. So, and then you hit um, stop sharing. Okay, that's it. I, I click hit stop sharing. sharing, and then you're back to the presentation. Uh, that's great. So, any questions? I was wondering, like, that wasn't really her desktop, that was her web browser, right? No, that was her desktop. She had other stuff on there as well. Because it looked like a in, like an internet, internet page open to me. Yes, yes, because I had uh, the internet, I had the Chrome uh, open. So that's why I, I, I asked before. When Margaret shared their session, I always see the the presentation. I always see the presentation of the class we are seeing in that moment. Oh. That's why I, I did that the question. I okay. I see that before. May I wait? Yes. Thank you. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I guess we're different views. I guess I expected a desktop like the same as uh, when Tammy shared her desktop, like a a picture or something. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can either have the picture, or you can also have um, you can also have your you know whatever's open. Perfect. Thank you. I will pass you the ball, Margaret. Okay. Yes. So let me share with you something here. This is a really great question, and it'll answer your question as well, Glenda, as as uh, Dominique's. So I'm going to share um, my desktop. And you can see that it looks like um, I have sharing web browser, right? Because it has all the web information. Yeah. But really, it's my desktop. So you can also have all of this other information as well. Okay. Perfect. Does that make more sense, Dominique? Yes, thank you. Awesome. You're welcome. You're welcome. So if there's any more, are there any more questions about sharing a desktop? All righty. So I am going to uh, pass the ball back to Tammy. And so we're now we're going sharing file. Yeah, so we're going to get file sharing or presentation and document sharing, is which, which is what we're doing right now with the PowerPoint that you see in front of you. So these are fixed uploads to WebEx, meaning that the actual software cannot be changed once they're loaded. 
so you can edit them while you're talking about them, but essentially they become whiteboards. So how are using the WebEx tools, you can, you can annotate on them with the whiteboard tools. So these, these can be Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, pictures, or even uh, the PDF. So I'm going to upload a PDF file to demonstrate. I'm going to try. <laughs> so again, uh, going to the upper left-hand corner toolbar, I'm going to select Share File. And it's very interesting because if, if you were on a committee and you want to change a document, if you load it up in the WebEx classroom, you can't change it. You can only write on it. But if you wanted to change the document, then you would have to share the file as an application. So those are the differences that we'll be learning shortly. Okay. So I'm going to go to the upper left-hand corner toolbar, and I'm going to select Share File, and then I'm going to locate the PDF of my computer, and I'm going to click OK and the file now gets loaded as another tab in the virtual classroom. And then we can, you will be able to annotate on them. And I'm not sure why it didn't come up there. You don't see it, I'm assuming. No. And sometimes it takes a minute? Yeah, it should be. It usually takes quicker than that. Sometimes the PDF won't work. Uh, okay, so I can you try it there. Try a PowerPoint, perhaps, if you have one around? what I have here. Okay. So everyone can see that one? Yes. Hmm. Excellent. Okay. So that's my FAQ. <laughs> okay, so I'd have a volunteer to to try that. One more thing that you want to share with when you're sharing something that's large, you can ask people to change um, to scroll down from the right hand side so they can see it all. Or else on the bottom left hand side of your screen, you'll see the word full screen at 122%. You can make it smaller if you'd like as well. By, by adjusting the full screen at the bottom, or larger. Great. Good. Okay. So we have a volunteer. Um, this is Dominique. I, I, I'm going to volunteer unless somebody that hasn't gone wants to volunteer. That's fine, too. All right. So I have okay, volunteer. good. Okay. Uh, with you, Dominique. Sharing documents and uh, loading documents, you'd go to the left-hand side to your Share tab. You'll select Share, and then go and click on File, and you'll find a file. I'm going to look for is a uh, a little document I was putting together for my boyfriend this morning, but it's nothing. Uh, At a doctor's appointment with his kid, and he had a little homework to do for his boss, so I did the little homework. Nice. So I selected the file. I'm not seeing it yet, uh, but it did add another tab there. And that's uh, my file. So we cannot see your file yet. Okay. I see it. It's uh, the, fault, the tab after having a baby on Outcast. Can, can you say, pass oh, okay, many, the, cool. the, uh, the ball? There we go. Yes. Can I ask court martial system? Yeah, can does court martial uh, system. Not very exciting. <laughs> but I, for sure. You did it. Yay. <laughs> there you go. So you can share uh, PowerPoint. You can share uh, Microsoft Word. You can share any kind of document to a PDF document. But the thing is, you cannot change the document once it's shared. It's static. You can also share an MP4 file um, as well for an audio file. How do you stop sharing this file or remove it? That is a great question. So you see um, where the tab is, there's a tiny X on the top right-hand side of it. If you click on that X, you can remove it. Okay. 
but I'll remove it now and I'll pass you the ball back. Okay. Change presenters. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So if you wanted to bring music up to your presentation, you could share an MP4 using this file as well. Okay. And Margaret, I see Glenda has a question. Go ahead. Um, in the in the PowerPoint presentation, I see that we can share video. Is that correct? We can also share video. Yes, you can share video. If you'd like to pass me the ball, um, Tammy, or I already have the ball. So you have I, the ball, Margaret. Okay, so oh, to share video, I go up to share in my, I'll, uh, Quick question, I'm seeing nothing anymore, like it's a white screen. I have chat and participant, uh, there we go. There you go, yep. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm sharing my session window. You can share, click on share, including file and video. And when I go down here, uh, I might have a file that's ready, recording live session to session eight. Mm -hmm. So then if I click on that tab, then that record up for the video file, and then you're able to view the video uh, as an MP4 video. I will stop sharing so that you can see now. And if I click on the play tab, then you're able to hear it. Um, so if you could just grab your <laughs> oh, now, this is something that we're going to be looking at later in sharing the video is when you're sharing a video, you have to make sure that everybody's microphone is muted because we'll all hear he feedback of everybody's video. So we're going to look more into sharing a video after the break. But just for right now, you can know that you can share a video this way um, under share file as an MP4 file as a video. Thank you. Does that answer your question, Glenda? Yes, great. Thank you so much. Awesome. I can't wait to share, you, share with you more about sharing videos after the break. Okay, so that is sharing the desktop. That is sharing a file and a video. Any questions so far on that? My screen's still white, except for, I, I don't know if you have a PowerPoint on right now, but I don't see it. I see the panelists and the audio. I don't see any visual, like, if you have a presentation that's loaded, I don't see it. Okay, is there a blue and green ball at the bottom of your screen? Yes. Try clicking on that. See if we come back. Uh, if you want, I can share what I see, and you'll see that I see nothing. Okay. Like to see that. I've passed you the ball, so if you can share your session window. So you see how there's no presentation? Uh, that's the first time I've ever seen that. Can you click 07, the little arrow beside it? Yep. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it goes to eight. It doesn't doesn't go back. <laughs> okay, so you know, I have said share with you that um I really get excited every time I learn something new. Um, this is something new. <laughs> Maybe if she goes out and go and came in again. I'm that thinking that would be the fix that I would try to do. If you could leave and come back, or else perhaps refresh your screen. Will the link that you sent me um, work again, or do I need a new link? Uh, the link that I sent you will work again with the password online one two three. Oh, I have to. I never have to answer a, enter a password. Oh, very good. In case you do, it's always online one two three. Online. Online O N L I N E one oh. two three. Perfect. I'll, I'll try to come back. That's, that's interesting. Okay. Um, and you know, what's interesting too is my whole screen just went kaplooey. How, how are you doing over there, Tammy? Yeah, no, I, I see the slides moving. So you're, are you moving the slides? I am. Okay. So we're on eight. <laughs> we're on eight, right? 
<laughs> Life is funny, you know, you never know what you're going to get. So In I the virtual world. <laughs> <laughs> Always have a plan B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. So next we're going to look at application sharing. So you can open any software within WebEx allowing you to demonstrate functions and capabilities. So you can open Word, PowerPoint, and the beauty about using this application sharing is that then you can change it. You can make changes to the application. Whereas if you share it as a file, it's on the WebEx, it's static. You can't make changes. So to change, to bring up an application, you can actually make changes. This is a great tool when you're training somebody how to use a form, perhaps, or how to use Microsoft Word, or for meetings when you want to collaborate on a project. So I'm going to open up a Word document now to demonstrate. I'm going up to share in the top left hand side of my screen and I'm going to click application. And okay, I'm clicking share. Stand by, take a minute. Okay. <laughs> oh my Dominique? goodness. Yes. Is Dominique still Dominique, are you still seeing nothing? Are you see, you're still seeing nothing. No. Hmm. Okay, so and my application filing is not working. So let me just see. Yeah. Let's try this. Oh. <laughs> okay. There we go. That's so funny. <laughs> so I am sharing right now my PowerPoint presentation. So isn't this a phenomenal tool that we can use to teach people how to maybe um, insert a link into a PowerPoint presentation or insert a picture. We can actually teach how to use the application. We could use it in a meeting when we want to um, share. You can share the presentation this way. Can you see the presentation, Dominic, this way? Yes, I can see. Uh, I can see everything. Okay. So then, perhaps this is how we're going to share the session. So. Um, I've just shared an application, and through that, we're able to see my PowerPoint presentation. And this is today's PowerPoint presentation. Please. So when we're sharing an application, just like when we're sharing a desktop, we always want to say, um, I want to make sure that you can still chat and be uh, speak if you need to. So please bring your mouse right up to the top of the middle of the screen and check on participants and give me a check mark and use your chat so that click on the chat so that you can continue to chat and communicate with us. That's great. I can see that everybody has their uh, their panels up and we can continue this way. So that is sharing an application. So I'm going to stop sharing my application. And do I have a volunteer to to walk through this? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Glenda? I don't know. Uh, Glenda and Dominic have already had a chance, so let's give somebody else a chance. No pressure. Danny or Denise or Caitlin? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's that? Who said that? No, it's Caitlin. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We're going to share the joy here. No pun intended. Okay. So. so I'm sharing. <laughs> your application. So okay. either a Word or a PowerPoint document. Oh, okay. Um, just give me one moment. Uh, I'm going to try okay. some. This isn't my computer. So, okay, I found something. So I'm going to go to the top of my screen and click on the Share tab. And under that, I'm going to click on app is it application? Yes. Okay. And then I get a little arrow to the right that says running application, Google Chrome, or other applications. So click Google Chrome. Okay. 
Sounds like uh, windy out there. So if I want to find the file, the PowerPoint file that I'm going to share with you, can you see my desktop? No, all I could see was the Google Chrome. Okay, so if I click on my file. It's still loading the file. Yes. Okay. So I've just opened the file on my desktop. Do I need to do anything else? So yes. Yeah. So what we're seeing is your Google. So you'd have to go back to share. And instead of share Google, this time you want to share an application such as Word or PowerPoint. Okay. So I'll go back to the Share tab, um, click on Application, and then click PowerPoint. Yes. Now we'll be able to see your PowerPoint presentation. Ah, oh, there you go. Would you rather? Awesome. So you can actually change. You can make changes with this now, and we can say, okay, can you change comedy to uh, to uh, family? And we can make changes together as a document, and right. then you can share the document later with everybody. So it's a great tool for teaching people how to use the forms. Maybe if you're in HR and you want people to fill in forms, mm -hmm. um, sharing an application works great. And don't forget to let people know that if they want to be able to um, hear, just make sure they can find that tool. Okay, I've tried something different for you, Dominic. Can you see the web board now? Don't see it. Dominic? Yep. Can you, you hear see the virtual deserted island now? No, I cannot. Okay. All right. Well, life is full of surprises. I'm going to see what I can uh, do to fix that. Margaret, I changed yes. tabs, and yes, now I see it. So there's three tabs now at the top of my screen. Uh, and, uh, so very I good. So now you can see it. So I, I'm going to close the other tab then. Okay, and we'll go to... Which uh, slide number do I go to? Are you at? Uh, you don't go to any. You, I'll bring you to it. Perfect. There, do you see now? Sharing applications. Because I have the ball, I'm the one that goes. Perfect. All right. So next is sharing a whiteboard. <laughs> so I'm glad you can see that. That's wonderful. I'm really glad. Thank you. Um, so we've seen, we've used the whiteboard for art therapy, for brainstorming, for... Um, icebreakers. So the whiteboard is very, very cool, and you can add a whiteboard to your session at any particular time. So in order to add a whiteboard, you uh, go up to Share in the top left-hand side and click on Whiteboard. And then what you get is a blank sheet, just like you had before, Dominique. So with the whiteboard, you can uh, then ask people to to write on it. So grab your 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 markers and draw a beautiful picture. Wherever you want, whatever your heart desires, just draw a little picture. Grab your markers uh, as part of the whiteboard tool. There we go. Let's make this really pretty. All right. Super. Okay. <laughs> So if I wanted to, I could also add another page so that we can work on a second page. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to share my session window so that you can see how I change or add a page to, um, oh, that's gorgeous, by the way. So I'm sharing my session window so you can see how I add a page to the whiteboard. So right now we have this lovely slide up the whiteboard. Now if I click on Edit, on the top left hand side and I click on add a page, I will have a second page. And it's there where we can continue to make beautiful drawings. The other thing I want to show you before uh, I go back so you can play with the whiteboard is these tabs up here, we can change the names of them simply by right clicking and clicking rename. So I can call this beautiful flowers. So now um, 
because I have the blue and green ball, I'm clicking on beautiful flowers, that is what you see. Now here we're on slide two, but if I go back to the first page, there's our beautiful flowers as the first page, simply by clicking the arrow. So I'm going to stop sharing now and ask for a volunteer to see who would like to um, add a whiteboard, add a page, and, uh, and change the name. Yeah, I can do that, Margaret. Okie dokie. So I'm going to pass you the ball, Denise. Maybe we can get them to do more beautiful pictures. I love this. This is great. Such a creative group. Okay, so we want you to share a whiteboard, please. Okay, so to share a whiteboard page, you go up to the um, top line where it says File, Edit, Share on the left-hand side and click Share. Then you scroll down the list, click on Whiteboard. And that gives you your first whiteboard page. So why don't we uh, use our drawing tool and the choice of colors and draw a little diagram of what the weather is like where you are today. Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? I see a lovely purple sun. and a gray cloud and some blue clouds and a sun so that's probably partly sunny partly cloudy beautiful big yellow sun somebody's got beautiful sunshine today now who, who's <laughs> adding all the the red bits what kind of weather is that it's sideways rain sideways <laughs> rain <laughs> is it red because it hurts Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Everyone's having fun with this creativity today. <laughs> All right, so to add a page, I'm going to edit, which is the second word on the top left-hand side, File Edit. I'm going to click on Edit, and I'm going to click on Add a Page. And then we have our second whiteboard page, because if you see at the top, it says uh, 02, so we're now on the second whiteboard page. And people are still drawing. Excellent. All right. And how can you change the name of the whiteboard? Uh, we can right click where it says whiteboard and then I'm going to choose the top option which is rename. And uh, I can change it. Do oh, a This is great. Renamed it to Creativity. We're having fun oh. Creativity today. <laughs> I love the Super. cat. Wow. So we have learned how to share a, uh, a session window, a desktop, an application. Uh, uh, what else have we learned? A whiteboard. Oh. After the break, we're going to learn how to share a website, so it's CAF Connections, if you want to take people on a tour, and we're going to learn how to share a video and web content, as well as transferring files. So uh, we are up to the break time now. If you want to have uh, eight minutes, because we're doing well for time, uh, Dominic, eight minutes enough for you today? I'm good. I don't have to run to Tim Hortons. My curry is on the counter. Oh, <laughs> nice. Did you actually run to Tim Hortons down. in the break? <laughs> yes. Good girl. Participation salutes you. So anyways, we'll, we'll take a break for, uh, for seven minutes, um, and we'll be back to talk more about sharing. Bring your questions when you come back, and I'll share my desktop so I can show the, the clock. So, Margaret, I'm going to give you back the ball. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Oh, didn't go. Awesome. Yes. Change presenter. 
Okay, and I will take that ball and I will share my desktop so that you can see. I'm going to share my web browser so that you can see. Sounds like wind. my clock go? I lost it. It's all right. There we go. Margaret, I had to mute myself a little bit there because actually all my kids are home. It's uh, it's called Ski Week here. Oh and, yes. Uh, yeah. So all uh, all well, one of them is at school, so four of them are at home. <laughs> so it's nice. Yeah. So they've been very quiet. <laughs> Usually have about you know five mummies all at once. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> to line them up. It's been very, uh, it's been very different parenting uh, girls as opposed to boys. I guess, eh? Yeah, a whole different. Uh, I don't know. It's just different. <laughs> Things you don't, you know, things I never really had to think about with uh, boys that you think about with girls. Interesting. Mm -hmm. are, do, are they interested in cadets as well? Well, it's funny, yes. Actually, my oldest daughter is, so she will be joining cadets uh, when we move back to Canada. Um, you know, so she's very interested in joining cadets and joining the military. And she has the option to do both, either American or Canadian because she's she'll be dual. Very cool. We of course are hoping for Canada, but Trying to remove my coffee cup and it's not working. We're having some issues today, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna put the hands, but <laughs> like just remove it. Ah, oh, there. <laughs> I can hear you talking about the cadet camps. It, and that's really great. You should ask them about insurance or possibly get separate insurance for your children when you send them there. And I mean health insurance, medical insurance for accidents. Uh, even at Canadian camp? Yeah, even at Canadian camps, your children aren't covered in case of very serious accidents, and they do happen fairly often. Which is uh, a scary concept. Like. Uh, the members are covered, but uh, children and instructors, um, the instructors are, are also children. They're usually 17 and 18, and they're on what they, they put them on this thing in training, so they are not considered employees, even though they are working as, you know, as an employee would, but it, um, it stops them from being covered. 
which is kind of sad and something our office is trying to change. So beyond your regular like oh hip, you would you don't really have anything. Huh. And uh, serious accidents happened this summer in Bagotville. There was a girl that was uh, driving a dinghy boat towards uh, with, with a student. The student was driving the boat and he, he was riding too fast and she fell from the boat. They hit a wave and the propeller hit her in the, in the head several times and she has neurological oh damage and uh, face damage. So her life will never be the same and her parents are having to sue uh, National Defense now for, for $3 million for her care. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Don't mean to be a bummer. I just want people to have information. No. So that should be front and center to be able to have information on insurance for sure. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So we are back. Give me a green check when you're back. Does anybody else hear wind in the background? I do. Actually, I do hear it. I was enjoying this winter winter, <laughs> this winter storm. I was like, wow. <laughs> There's a whistling going on, like a winter yeah. wind, yeah. Okay. All right. So there's more than one way to share any of your tool, many of the tools. So, for example, um, if you want to do audio, you can go on the right of your screen, or you can also go on the top of your screen. There's Many of the tools have more than one way to access. It used to be that we accessed um, videos to share a video using web content. But recently, there's been a change, and they've taken away the web content share. So we have to find a new way to share. So the way that we've decided to share videos either is by going to share in the top left hand side and clicking on file including video and then bringing up uh, a video that you have as an mp4 recording and sharing it with your with your class. When you share though regardless of how you're sharing this video you have to remember a few pointers. Always put on your screen, on your PowerPoint screen, to please mute yourself. Because if you don't mute yourself, you're going to hear everybody else's um, video as well. We're also going to start the video. And um, you can skip ads or any full, but please don't touch pause or, or stop, because that will change it for everybody. So please don't uh, touch the video screen. And when you're finished watching the video, we ask you to give us a happy face. So that way we know, because everybody will finish within seconds, not everybody will finish at the same time. So these are the three instructions when we're telling somebody how to share a video. Um, again, web content is no longer. So instead now, I've used share file, including video. And I can show you by clicking on the tab that says live to virtual because I have the blue and green ball and the video will, will start to play. Now it is a video from a previous class, so I'm not going to play the whole thing. It's just going to show you. Please mute your microphones. Thank you. So give me a happy face when you're finished listening. There we go. Super. Okay, thank you. So that is one way to share a video file. Now, if you share a video file using the share file, like we looked at before, that way it will the video will come into the recording. So if you're sharing a recording and you want the the the, the video in the recording, it will work. 
Another way for you to share a video is for you to put it in the chat and ask people to share, um, to, to go to it on, on their own uh, time. So if I was to share, for example, this particular video, I would have the same instructions. Please mute yourself. Uh, but this time, instead of um, when I start the video, you're going to be asked to click in the chat to, to view the video. And then in order to come back, you have to click on the blue and green ball at the bottom of your screen because the, uh, when I put it in the video in the chat, you're going to see it um, as, an, as a sharing of uh, uh, web content. So. In the screen, I have a YouTube video. If you want to just mute yourselves, click on it. And when you're back, just click on the blue and green ball at the bottom of your screen to come back and give us a check mark. It's not live for me. I can't just click on it. You can't click on it, Dominique? No, it's not a live link. Uh, is that better? Can you copy and paste it perhaps to your browser? That's what I'll do. You know, and sometimes it feels like it's right up on me and I can just feel it, like literally feel it in my head and it's relentless and I don't know if it's going to stop. I mean, that's the thing that scares me the most is that I don't know if it's ever going to stop. do this. You always try to fix things when what I really need is for you to just listen. See, I don't think that is what you need. I think what you need is to get the nail. See, you're not even listening now. Okay, fine. I will listen. There's this achy, I don't know what it is. And I'm not sleeping very You would just don't. We can work it out. We can work it out. Thank you so much for the subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> so, were you able to watch the video, Dominique? I was. That was very funny. Just Danny, were you? Yep. Good. Go ahead. Danny and Glenda and Caitlin, were you able to watch it? Yes. Awesome. Very good. So, you know, that's one way that you can bring a video in. So you can either share a file, including video, um, but you can't share a YouTube video this way. We're still working on different ways. Or you can share um, a YouTube video by using the chat. Any questions, Dominique? Yes, so when you go to file and including video, my file button does not show uh, show this option. My no, share, my share tab does not show a file including video. No, you will not have it unless you have the ball. So I'll pass you the ball. Okay, perfect, perfect. And then you can see it. Try now. Ah, I see it. Okay, so now, do I, I have a link ready to go for another short video? Do I have a volunteer who would like to uh, to share to share it?
And basically when you share a video, you want to tell them, um, I'm going to have the link in the chat. Please mute yourselves, um, play the video, and remember to click on the blue and green ball at the bottom of your screen to come back. So who should I pass the link to? Glenda. Okay, I will pass you the ball. Okay. Um, okay. Are you going to pass me the, the link too? I'm going to pass you the link as well, yes. Okay. And you. so remember that what you have to tell the tell your participants. Okay, great. Um right now you're going to share another video. So if you can go to your chat uh, window, you can see the link. But before uh, see the video, it's a really important please to mute yourself and when you're finished, you can uh, give us a green check. And in order to come back to the screen, you may have to click ah. on the blue and green ball at the bottom yeah. of the screen. Thank you. And you have to click to the blue and green ball in the bottom of the screen. And your producer will put the link in the chat. Remember to mute yourselves okay. and give us a green check when you're back. Oops. Sorry, I gave you the wrong link. Yes, yeah, I think it's the same. It's the same one. So, yeah. uh, if you just want to come back. Um. Sorry about that. I you the brain check myself. <laughs> there you go. So, <laughs> We don't need to see that twice. So that is how you share, either by using file, including video, or putting it in the chat. If you use file, including video, the recording will capture it. Um, and if you use put it in the chat, the recording will not capture the video. And again, um, after session seven, we're going to be offering office hours, and you can come and practice and play with any of these particular tools as you see fit. Awesome. Okay, so that is how we share web content or a video. Any questions? Again, we encourage you to practice and play. A video off uh, the Ombudsman's website, for example, I could just click, the, like, paste the link to, to the video? Yes. Yes. If you share, uh, if it's an MP4, you can share it as a video as well. But if you share the desktop and look at it yourself, there will be no sound for anybody else. You will hear, but there will be no sound. So you have to be able to share it either um, as a file, including video, or as a uh, YouTube, as a link um, through Should chat. Be. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And and here are the directions when you have to put it in the chat. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Tammy, on web browsers, you're muted. Hi there. Sorry, sorry I had some I loud noise question. going. Oh, hi there, Glenda. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have a question. Uh, I see a, a slide. Uh, who has all the instructions to share a video? My that one. Now I have a copy of that. Oh, how can I get? How can I have the text of that? That is a great question. Okay, excellent question. All right. So if you go to file, and everybody can do this, uh -huh. you click down to save as. Uh -huh. You click on document. And make sure that you change the, the type to PDF, which is the second choice. Okay. And then save it as a PDF somewhere, and then you'll always have that. That's amazing. So you'll have the whole presentation that we've done. Yay. You can Thank save you. each presentation each time. Thank you. You're welcome. Great question.
Did anybody else have the opportunity to check out the file save as PDF? Give me a clean check did if it. you did. Yeah. Good. That's All really right. cool. Super. Okay, so now we've looked at web, sharing web uh, web videos through file and through chat. Now we're going to look at sharing the web browser, which is great to give a tour of the CAF connections. All right, so the next way to share online web pages is the web browser, like Margaret's saying. And so sharing, and, and I'm sure you've heard Margaret say this several times during your course, you need to engage every three to five <laughs> at, Minutes. <laughs> I guess everybody's five muted. Everybody's muted. You probably always make a point that it comes out three to five minutes. It's always something like every three to five minutes. So web browser sharing is exactly what it sounds like. So when the presenter uses this option, they are sharing their actual home or office web browser. And this allows them to share web pages with all their participants. So so once you've shared once you have shared their browser, the attendees cannot navigate it independently of you. And this is great if you want to bring up a particular web page. Um, for example, we'll do the CAF Connection website, and you can navigate participants to the Program and Services tab, and you talk about the services offered, and you can get feedback from your participants, what they see on the web page or an article you'd like to share. Um, you can also share the web pages that have video with this option um, as well. Okay, so I'm going to share my web browser. The, the thing, if you if you share a video with the web browser option, you have to be careful because then the sound will, it's just like sharing it on a desktop, you will have no sound. So there's a place for that, it, but then you're going to have to know if you're sharing a video on a web browser that you will be the narrator, so you have to talk through the video. Great. Okay, so Margaret, you have the ball. So yes, I'm going to pass you the ball by clicking and dragging it to your name. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Okay, so we'll share the web browser. So we'll go up to the top, we're going to under share, go down to web browser. Okay. And I've left this in here for a reason, and I'll tell you why. Margaret, you'll see what. I know exactly why. why. Smart. Okay. <laughs> That's why. I left. Okay. So, so now you'll see everyone. Um, if you go very top as well, you'll have your little drop-down menu for your participants and your chat panel, so you'll be able to chat. So, if everyone, give me a green check mark when you see uh, the CAF website. Great, Denise, Danny. Great. Excellent. Okay, so the reason why we, well, I'll explain here for a sec. So, so I use this option, as I said, to navigate um, to, to the site, talking about it, even saying, um, talking about our program and services. So you go under the program and services tab, education and training, children education and management. Okay, and you can talk about, you can navigate to your family's um, the services under ch children, education, and management. What's new inside Canada, outside Canada, guidance counseling, teacher recruitment, FAQs. So this, I would use this web, or well, this website um, when we're talking with families um, for any of the presentations to demonstrate what kind of services we offer uh, um, for mil for morale, welfare, and services, or an MFS. Um, also, when you saw me typing in up here in the browser, CAF Connections, you may have seen um, all the other um, sites that I have been on. So you're going to want to you're going to want to delete you're going to want to clear that out. And Margaret, maybe you're better at explaining that, what I meant. I left it in there so they could see. Just like this. when you're sharing your desktop, you want to have a clear desktop. You want to make sure that nobody sees the history um, of what you've been browsing. So you want to make sure that you've <laughs> cleared your browsing history as well. Uh, keep it as clean as possible. And one other point when you're sharing a website, if you're going on a tour, 
is it's really important to do step by step because otherwise people can get dizzy. Because if you're just scrolling and moving and the, the, every, it keeps okay. going, oh! <laughs> there you go. People yeah. can get dizzy. So have a plan and know what you want to show. And then step by step, see, I'm going to show military sports. I go to programs and services and then for veterans and then veteran family program. So very step by step. Do not rush it. I know when we're nervous, sometimes we rush, but try to stay calm and don't go too fast or scrolling or we'll get dizzy. Okay, so when you see me doing this, it's like, yeah. hey, where's she going? You've lost your, you're lost your people. They're like, okay, okay, you know. <laughs> so you want it to be, as, as Margaret said, very slow and you want to be explaining as you're going across um, each one slowly. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing. So you're gonna go up to the very top Drop up drop down menu comes in, you say stop sharing. And do we have a volunteer that would like to share their web browser? Danny or Caitlin? Danny. Thank you. I should pass the ball over to Danny. So by clicking and dragging the ball from Tammy's name to Danny's name. All right. So I'm going to select share in the upper left hand corner and select web browser from the drop down list. Okay, so I'm now sharing. Make sure to open the participants and chat windows and give me a check if you can see my web browser so far. Thank you. That's great. That check mark means that they have a control of their tool. So that's excellent. Thanks, Danny. No problem. So I haven't cleared my browsing history, so be patient with me. Well, apparently my Google doesn't remember it today. So anyway, I am navigating to the Halifax <laughs> MFRC website because why not? So maybe give me a check again uh, if you can see that. Yes. Yes, everyone can see it. All right, so I will What's show the vacation you vacation lottery? <laughs> oh, the vacation lottery. It's our biggest uh, fundraiser of the year. Uh, we sell tickets for $120, and then there are uh, a series of monthly draws for uh, vacation gift cards. Um, it used to be that it was specific vacations, like two weeks in the Bahamas, but now it's uh, a $5,000 travel gift card, and you can go wherever you want. Nice. Mm -hmm. So I was going to navigate and show you how to get to the page for the program I work with. So. I'm going to go to menu in the upper right hand corner. And from there, I'm going to scroll down to services towards the bottom of the screen. And here under services towards the bottom, you'll see social workers. And then you can click on social, I'm gonna click on social workers at the top. And this will take you, take us to the page that describes the program I work with. As I slowly move down here, you can see some of the things that the Prevention Support and Intervention Team, which is the team of social workers here at the Halifax MFRC, does. Uh, prevention being uh, resources in advance of something happening, support, putting services in place, and intervention for when you're in a crunch, uh, when life happens, and how we can support during those times. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, you're busy. Yes. Danny, is your yes. um, executive director Gaynor Jackson? No. Uh, Shelly She's Hopkins. a Squimalt. Gaynor is in a yes. Squimalt? Who is, is, who is the new uh, executive director? Shelly Hopkins is our new executive director oh, as of uh, Sorry. November this past year. Was, who was the one right before her? Colleen. 
Colleen. Um, Colleen Calvert. She's been here for 17 years. Hey, that's who I was talking about. Sorry, because I was in Halifax a few years ago, and, and she was part of the Ombudsman's Advisory Committee. Mm -hmm. And she would yes, order stuff here. from our uh, from our sweat line of swag to send out to families every year. She'd be like, "Send me some frisbees and baby bottles and <laughs> <laughs> the Colleen." All right, well okay. done. I like the way you went step by step. Thank you, Denny. Okay, so now I can stop sharing and we'll go back to the main screen. There we are. Brilliant. Good job. Is there, is there any questions on the differences between web content sharing and web browser sharing? Hey, I got an applause there. <laughs> there <you laughs> applause because you did a great job. <laughs> So, Danny, can you please pass me back the ball by clicking and dragging it to beside my name, MFRC PEI host? There we go. Thank you, darling. So, over to you, Margaret. Great. So, this is a very busy slide. Um, I think I need to redo it because it's, there's a lot of information there for, for, for seeing, but it's a great tool. So, with this, we can transfer a file for anybody to download. And that means that if uh, if I have a Word document and uh, everybody wants it, or uh, Glenda, you asked before, can I have this PowerPoint presentation? I can give that to everybody. How do I do that? I go to File and Transfer. So I go to File and Transfer, and I uh, uh, let me just share my session window so you can see what I'm doing. Very good. So I go up to File on the top left-hand side of my screen. I click on Transfer. And then a box will pop up. And from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a file. So I'm going to share a file. And the file that I'm going to share with you... <clears throat> Where is it now? Yeah. Yeah, I have a few things going on, eh? <laughs> Where is it? Live to virtual. Where are you? It's using an or alphabetical order. I don't know why it's not. But I'm looking for live to virtual. There we are. Live to virtual it's programming. Top. There you go. Okay. And so I will share with you this PowerPoint presentation, Glenda. So this is another way that you can have it. <clears throat> So now I'm going to stop sharing my session window and all that the participants have to do is click on the revise live to virtual and then click download. So try that. Clicking on it to gray it out so that you're selecting it and then click download. Any is that working for you? It did work, yeah. Super, great. So we can share any file. So if you ever have a really large file that you, and I've done this before, that won't go on the D1, um, you can come on to WebEx and share it this way, because then they can get the file, no problem, by downloading it. Caitlin, were you able to download the file? There are a couple things that you have to know when you're downloading the file. Sometimes uh, people's administrative rights will not, if you're working at work, will not allow you to download the file even as a file transfer. Um, you can have the ball or I can, I can give you permission without having the ball to transfer a file. So if I wanted somebody to transfer a file for me, I could give the permission to um, to uh, somebody else to be able to do that. Uh, okay, so would anybody like to try to share a transfer file? Anybody, anybody, Bueller? Let's see, I'm going to just bring the ball and... I can do it, uh, Margaret, this is Dominique. 
Okay. Great. Okay. So you'll go to the top of your screen where it says File. You'll select File. And then you'll go to Transfer. And you'll select that. And then you'll... I'm not sh I'm sorry, I can't see the... So you click on Share File? Yes. Oh, so then you go to share file? That's correct. File, and then transfer, and then a file transfer box opened up. Okay, yes. File. It's not looking like it's something I can sort. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah. I found it. And on the bottom right-hand square of this box, you'll see a number, and that will tell you how many people have downloaded the file. So share file, and then we'll select it. There we that go. Work? Yep. So now we will select it and download, and you'll see the number is seven. So that number should go down when people have finished downloading. I'm not seeing a seven, but you might. It's the very bottom uh, right. As you should see a the the download of a. And at the bottom right of the file transfer box. Four. It may look different on a on a on a Mac. Yeah, I don't see that at all. Okay. But if you see it, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how you share a file. Did it work for everyone? Yes. No. Yeah. So you just say, "Give me a green check if it or a check if it worked." Give me a green check if it worked, right? <laughs> there you, you go. So what a great way to share a file if you want to, um, you know, to have that opportunity. You can also set the privileges um, so some, you don't necessarily have to have the ball to be able to share a file. So um, anything's possible in the interactive virtual classroom. And again, uh, office hours are going to be the week after next, so you're welcome to try and play and ask as many questions as you want. Okay, so my goodness, we've shared the desktop, the application, the web browser, the web content, a whiteboard, a file, uh, videos. These are all the tools that we can use to engage participants to bring collaboration to our virtual classroom every... Eight to five minutes. minutes. Thank you. Um, it also really teaches to the learning styles, the auditory and the visual and the kinesthetic. Um, the introvert and the extrovert with the activities that we can do. Um, but all of these tools, and this isn't all that WebEx can do, these are just still some, but all of these tools are really important to practice and integrate into your presentation if you can. Um, but all of these tools are not nearly as important as the bigger share tool, which I'm going to share with you right now, which is sharing your resources. So the give and go presentation uh, comes complete with the script and a PowerPoint presentation. So I can share that give and go with anybody um, who's, who's, uh, who, who is interested in the topic and then they can tweak it so they don't have to reinvent the wheel. Once a pre presentation is, is, is complete, um, your coworkers can use it. You can share it with other MFRCs. Um, the other thing about sharing your resources is that we're going to have the opportunity, not only that you're, you're here in this class, but when this class is finished, you have the opportunity to continue by connecting once every quarter with other people who have taken the course to share resources. So grab your pointer on the top left-hand side of your screen. And I want you to think about all the sharing that we've done today. And I want you to think about what is your aha moment from today. Just write down what did you like about, what was your favorite sharing tool, what, what are you taking away from today?
Linda, you make me smile. <laughs> Not really. It's amazing. It's amazing how, how we can share in every possible way. There's no excuses for not sharing. Denise, don't forget to click away when you're done. There we go. Thank you. All right. So you're excited, Danny, about two different ways to share videos. Mm -hmm. Can you see sharing videos in your final presentation? I can, actually. There's um, in Supporting Children Through Deployment, we offer and reference um, Sesame Street for Military, children, uh, military Families, if anyone's familiar with that. Yes. They have uh, a series of videos uh, from Drink Elmo, where he uh, has some little vignettes of Elmo dealing with his dad being away and then his dad coming home. And they're very cute. That is so smart that Sesame Street uh, is into deployment. I mean, what a great uh, leaders, you know, what great leaders they are. Yes, the only caution is that it is American, so some of the stuff on the, con on the website is, you know, not perfectly relevant, but the bulk of it trans translates just fine. Right. And, you know, that's the same with the give and goes that, that, that you have access to now from being part of this, this training, is that it's a starting point. So each MFRC has different rules, different forms perhaps, but it's a starting point to get the discussions going so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Awesome. Um, Denise, what were you excited about in the sharing? Uh, being able to share the videos, I think uh, videos can provide wonderful entertainment um, to your presentation. I also like the web browser where you can actually walk somebody through a website. I can see that as being very useful for a lot of presentations. Yeah, and we've seen people do things like um, have a web website uh, treasure hunt, too. You can do that virtually. Like Anything's possible, absolutely. Um, Caitlin. Yeah, I thought it was interesting to, to see how you could share the whiteboard, and I thought that encouraged a lot of participation and creativity within our own group, and I could see that being something kind of just a fun little break in a, in a classroom. Absolutely. And so, you know, if you're feeling that your participants are waning a little bit, pop up a whiteboard and, and just have a theme specific, you know, if you're talking about uh, mindfulness, say, well, why don't you draw what it's like where your happy place is or something like that. Just to give them a creative out, absolutely, you can always make it theme specific and those are things you can do on the fly. So um, you always have your plan B, C, and D ready to go, that's your plan F. <laughs> Dominique. Yeah, I really liked um, that you know, the little lessons learned with all the different methods of uh, sharing. And I'm happy that, you know, it really stuck in my mind that sharing a video via web browser is not necessarily the best way, because I think that was the way I was going to go. So it's good that, you know, that was learned. But I love this whole idea of being able to share videos and the links and off the website. It's, it's a good thing. And, and also remember you can share the videos as asynchronous or as synchronous. So you could share them as before or after session emails as well. Um, if you want people to kind of get in the in the groove of your presentation, and then when they come, they know what it's a little bit of what it's about if they've had a chance to look at the video. Um, so yeah, that's that's really cool. And, and the narrating, actually, we've done that. It works pretty neat because then it's it's your voice with the information on the on the screen. It, it has its values, has its merits. And Glenda. Hey. <laughs> Uh, I love uh, sharing videos. Um, I am a, a very visual person, a, lear a visual learner, 
So I think it, it's a great tool, a, a great thing to share in in our presentation. So I don't think I I will put in my presentation in my final presentation, but I definitely will use it because I I do um, like a little video capsule the 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. So it. I think it is going to be amazing if I can share it. And you bring up a great point too because you don't want to have videos first uh, that that are too long. So, you know, 1 minute is great and I'm sure if they're theme specific that's okay too, but you don't want to have them too long because of the focus, right? Every 3 to yes. 5 minutes. Yes. Awesome. And Tammy, thank you so much for being here today and for sharing your expertise. Tell me about your thoughts. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Um, you know, I just think the virtual class, as I said, is very engaging no matter your location. I mean, where, look, look at it where we all are in, just in, in our classroom uh, across the board. And um, no matter the weather outside, what you're feeling, you know, you don't feel like getting dressed. <laughs> you know, you just put your bike on, don't put your, put your video on. And it's amazing, um, you know, sit with your PJs and be comfortable. And so I just think share, share, share. I mean, great minds, great minds in this classroom and uh, and around the world. So I appreciate the uh, I appreciate you having me here today. And I just want to share. We actually did a uh, baby shower for one of our families here in the United <laughs> States. She was in Florida, and we had our we had our um, families from across the states who had actually sent in Amazon packages to her location, and we had a video put. She had her video on and. You know, we had someone go in and decorate for her, uh, and so it was pretty cool to know that this person who's having a child who lives in the United States, away from family, away from the culture of Canada, um, felt very um, supported and happy to know that she was thought of, even though she was, you know, away. So I just think it's great to be able to do these kinds of things and uh, bring families together, no matter whatever location, just to know that you're there. And I love to hear our fellow Canadians on the line because. I live in a 1Z location, um, not very many Canadians where I live, uh, military Canadians, lots of Canadians, but very, very few military Canadians, so it's really cool to, to be part of this. So thank you for having me. To be able to connect. Well, thank you, Tammy. We really appreciate it. Uh, virtual baby shower, anything's possible, right, in an interactive cl classroom. Um, so sharing, though, is really important, and we meet quarterly once you finish this program with anybody from the program, uh, the 60-some-odd people who have taken it, um, to share resources, troubleshooting tips, um, programs, producing uh, roles. So it's a really great group where you can, you know, share give and goes to. Anything's possible. Okay, so that that was a great discussion. Thank you so much. And again, we, you know, if you want to practice or anything, just pop me an email, and we'll we can go on anytime to share any of this information. So when you're developing your final presentation, we have everybody's practices set, which is really great, set for March. Um, remember, your you shouldn't have more than three objectives in a in one hour period. Um, make it collaborative every three to five minutes. <laughs> Keep in mind your learning types, your, your visual, your auditory, your kinesthetic. Uh, keep in mind activities that are good for the introvert as well as the extrovert. Um, the best practice of one page script to one slide. This is really great because then when you print it off, it's really easy to see. You can put it in a binder and then you have one-on-one, -on -one. very easy. And when you do one page script, only two, it means you're, you're speaking less and, and acting more. So that's what we want, speaking less and acting more. Um, make sure that you add producer directions to your final presentation script so that uh, uh, Joanna and I have, have a role to play. You can even give us a voice if you'd like. Um, you can, whatever you want us to do within reason, we'll do for you. <laughs> Um, use descriptive words that are your own, like make it your own, so that when you did the, the demonstration, you were using our words, but now it's your words. Any expressions, you use them, bring them in, you know, make it your own. Um, and during the practice session, we will set the dates for your final, so bring your calendar, and then we'll just practice, practice, practice. So any questions about your final project?
Yes, I have a one question. Go ahead, Glenda. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, 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 I, I am in, uh, I am working in my my street right now. But I think if I use if I use one page for one slide, I think the script is not uh, long for for the slide. I don't know if I can play myself. Yeah, so I, you don't I, think I can use you one think slide for two words? Or right. So you think you won't have enough space on your on your script slide because you want to yes. put more words? No, no, I think the one slide is not is is not going to take a uh, long time. So maybe I have a slide that I have and and the script will be for I don't know forty seconds, thirty yeah. seconds, and that is uh, okay. That's I perfect. Ah, yep. Okay, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, you can have you know like just uh, one sentence on a on a script page as long as it's it matches one with your slide. Okay. Absolutely. With one script, one slide, mm -hmm. uh, no matter if it's only one word or, or one line, no matter what. Yep. It's only one, the one. Okay, great. Yep. Thank you. Excellent. That's a great question. Denise? My question is the uh, practice. Is that just with myself and the uh, producer just doing a run through, or mm -hmm. do I actually have a couple of participants? No, it's just with us. Oh, okay. Good. Yep. Yep. It's just with your either Joanna or myself, and we're we're just gonna you know, and we'll give you suggestions, and we'll say, oh, you know, you can make this more interactive. Would Excellent. you try this? And and yeah, we're just we're your Vanna White. Yeah, just us. Good. That's and that awesome, way, yeah. also, if you want to have the opportunity to try different tools, you can ask questions. It could be it's your own private uh, private okay. session. That's fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. Great questions. Uh, can you believe we're March already? Holy <laughs> jumping! It's crazy. Where's the time going? So March is session seven. Uh, we're going to be talking about troubleshooting tips and tricks, and we're going to play a little game called uh, "What Would You Do If?" and get you thinking about different troubleshooting tips. On March 22nd, we will have the graduation, and then between March 1st and 22nd, we'll have practices and final presentations. Um, on March 22nd, we, it's so much fun. We have a debrief, we have Jeopardy, we bring a huge potluck, uh, virtual potluck. And then uh, you're invited to the monthly coordinator meetings, and there's advanced office hours and master classes that go on as well um, throughout the summers. So Tammy has put her email address into the chat. And that is all that I have for today. Great. Margaret, Danny, do we have a so, class? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Do we have a class on March 8th? We do not. It's, okay, it's International Women's Day, so that's fantastic that we don't. But you know what we're doing for International Women's Day? Do you see the yes, recent I flyer? Do. Yes, I did. <laughs> A second annual virtual. Looking forward to it. Good. I may have to watch the recording, though, because that's my cadet night. Ah, OK. No problem. No problem. So if there's no questions or anything else, uh, thank you again, Tammy, for coming out. Do you have uh, a given your email address for our participants if anybody wants that? And did you want to add anything, Tammy? I'd just like to say, um, you know, it, it's, uh, thank, like I said, thanks for having me. And um, I know sometimes when you're on here, it uh, can be a little bit ner nerve wracking and kind of like anything new. Uh, just relax but yourself. You sound great. Uh, you know, the people that are coming on and sharing, and you're so smooth and, and natural. So, um, and it's for the good of our families. We're reaching out to those families. So, thank you so much, uh, everyone, for your service and uh, for taking the time to to do this course because it's going to be great to see what uh, comes out of it in the region you're in. And you want to be invited to the final presentations? I would love to, yeah. So if anyone wants to, you know, depending on the timings and stuff, because I'm in the Pacific West Coast here in San Diego, but uh, I'd love to. So if you want to, if you'd like to invite me, uh, that would be great. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.
standing ovation. You're getting a standing ovation, my dear. <laughs> Coming back. <laughs> ah, that's great. Well, listen, thank you so much, everybody, for coming out tonight. Um, and we look forward to Danny's presentation on uh, on uh, next Wednesday, which is our last class until graduation. Yay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you both. Thank you.